Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to our YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So, hope you guys are doing well and practice also you are doing uh, for your upcoming interview because uh, without practice you will not able to remind during an interview. Okay, so practice will give you the more confidence. Okay, so the today we will see one of the interview question uh, from PwC which is uh, their technical round question so in data engineering technical round how what kind of SQL question they used to ask recently that we'll see and we'll try to solve uh, I have used my approach okay so if you have any other approach any different approach so you can also do that and you can also comment on the view video comment section so that everybody can see and learn from it and I also can learn from it okay so before going ahead, I want to introduce my YouTube channel, this is Cognitive Coders and here we used to upload data engineering related stuffs. okay, there are multiple playlists uh, here, if you are beginner of on in data engineering field then PySpark and Databricks series will guide you how to uh, how to learn the PySpark, okay, and this uh, Azure Data Factory tutorial uh, and Azure Data Factory real time scenario this this, this will also help you to learn the data factory okay so and there are lots of real time scenarios uh, and PySpark interview question and also SQL interview question also also there okay so you can go through this in this videos uh, you will able, able to learn the data engineering stops okay so hmm, today we'll see the SQL question first uh, okay so identify companies so PWS SQL question this is as I told you so no what they have asked uh, they have given us one uh, list okay they have given us one list so so this is the list list of companies year and revenue okay so I'll give you the uh, DDL uh, okay uh, in the description so that you also can uh, practice by yourself okay so multiple companies and their e yearly revenue they have given okay so identify the companies whose revenue consistently increase every year without needing okay so it means uh, we have to identify the companies uh, where the revenue for which whom the revenue consistently it is in increasing mode there is no decreasing in the graph okay so that thing uh, that company name we have to identify okay this means if their company revenue increase several consecutive year but the uh, then ex experience experiences a dip in revenue so whatever I as I explained that the, the in uh, revenue graph should not be decrease for which company revenue graph uh, is uh, is decreased uh, we will not consider them okay results should not contain so as they uh, they have already told uh, the company name green solution and retail giant uh, will not be in our list okay so they have the uh, they have the uh, dips in revenue you can see retail uh, retail giants uh, 95 multiple zeros and after that 2022 their revenue in tri in deep mode okay in dips so their revenue just decreased okay and same the green solution green solution if you will see green solution also they are always in increasing mode but 2022 their revenue just got down okay so we will not consider this both the uh, company so how we will solve this so we have understood the uh, problem statement so how we will solve this so I have already uh, solved this question okay in uh, code level so for saving the time so I'll just explain it so first we'll try to see each and every query what I did here okay I'll just explain so using lag we are uh, we are creating one new column pre revenue okay so okay using lag we are 
creating window condition on company wise okay so using lag we are getting using lag we are getting the previous cell for edu for edu take only we are getting previous cell you can see okay then uh, if it is a uh, fine finance something like that company so finance corporation so here also as we 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 are doing partition uh, on company so here also we are getting the previous cell year wise okay so so in this city we will get this this kind of table okay after that what we are doing so we are just uh, we are just using the case statement okay so select star when the revenue is less than pre revenue so you can see wherever revenue uh, got down so for that company only the in, the in that row if we will see so gre green solution you can see this is 44 this is 45 so revenue is less than pre revenue so revenue yeah pay decrease ho chuka hai. so like this if I will take it in separate separately and I will run it so what we will get we will get rank okay because where this condition has satisfied there I will take zero and otherwise it will give me one one condition okay like this okay so now this part is clear I think so this two, this two CT part is cleared okay so this result also I am storing it in a separate uh, CT1 variable okay so um, CT1 uh, view okay so what you, you you want to see we want to see now from there I am just I am just uh, pointing out that uh, that company that company name only where it is zero okay where it is zero and we are storing it in CT2 so in CT2 what we, ha we will have then if we will run it separately you can see you can see in CT2 we will store only this two table which we will not consider ok ok then so in CT2 it, uh, this two tables has been stored ok now we just need to find out our uh, desired company list who have no dips ok so select uh, distinct select if I will remove so distinct I have selected because uh, there are multiple com uh, company list you will get the same name so that's why distinct I have used here so from company revenue the main main table ok where company not in this CT2 CT2 means this two company name ok so if I will run the total thing I will get the desired output ok this two company name will not exist here only edutech finance corporation health service and tech innovations are there ok so I have solved it uh, using this approach if you have any other approach you can also solve it and you can post it in our video comment section so that community whole community can see and learn and I also can learn that approach okay so the same same SQL question at the end they ask to solve it in spark environment also so that's why I will go to my spark environment and there here also I have solved it okay here also I have created this kind of table okay so you can see so I'll give you this uh, data. Okay, don't need to don't you don't need to create. 
just copy paste from the description video description okay so I will I have imported the SQL functions all the SQL functions and window okay so here what I am doing first of all I am creating using the same lack function I will uh, create the so if I will remove I will remove this code and if I will remove this filter also let's see what it is creating ok I need to I need to new df dot show ok so I have just created the, uh, the whole code for saving the time only ok because every time typing it's taking a lot of time ok so pre-revenue for pre-revenue the same thing it is doing it is uh, taking the previous revenue uh, previous revenue year in the pre-revenue column ok for the to tape till here it is done then finance corporation for uh, for this revenue there is no previous revenue ok that's why it is null otherwise you will get the value ok like this and from here I will filter wherever wherever the revenue m minus pre-revenue less than zero means it is in negative value so wherever pre-revenue pre-revenue will be high and revenue would be uh, low so only for uh, only for that year whenever uh, the business was down and the profit was decaying so that only for that uh, row only it will happen this row this row green solution for this, this green solution it is this row so we'll sort out we'll just filter out that thing first so we are filtering out so this two company i'll store in a list so for that i i'll use rdd okay the same thing i uh, earlier also i have explained how to use rdd and all so if you have not watched you can you can go through this um, pyspark database playlist there are multiple rdd's video I have so how to use RDD when to use that all the things I have explained there so new df select company I have just select the company and uh, I will um, using the flat map uh, lambda function uh, no I uh, I will t I uh, I am taking it to the uh, row level and using the collect so uh, just uh, extracting and putting it uh, in a list level okay you can see so uh, the data data has come in a list okay so now now it's now the thing is simple the final df so the final df what we are doing so where company is in deep okay is in deep company is in deep so here I have used the uh, null option ok so df df is the main df ok main df so in df where the company name company name is in this list here not means not null is not in this list so that value we will only get so after that if I will remove the testing and I will show you the value so I am getting the all company names which is not in the list ok so which is not in the list ok the all the company's name we are getting but here these two company name it is not in this list ok so there are multiple names uh, ok so multiple same names so that's why we need to use distinct once again I will run using distinct so I'll get the desired output tech innovation uh, finance whatever we get from here also the same okay the four companies
so this was the pi spark solution uh, so here i have used a different approach the lag level it is okay but after that i have used different approach i have used case statement here i have not used case statement for for giving you two different test of approach that's why i have um, used here two different different approach so that you you guys can learn and if you have any other kinds of approach also you can um, ping me uh, on video comment section so that i also can learn and whole community can learn okay so i think you have understood the concept if you have any kind of doubt you can directly connect with me via topmet there is no charge uh, to connect with me via uh, topmet or you can follow our channel in telegram and also um, if you have not follow me in linkedin please do follow also and if you have not subscribe our youtube channel please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you thank you for watching our video bye